the Olympic team come then? 200 fly five. The first 350s, you'll see lane three, Trenton Julian really blasted out. All 350s, he was so quick, and he was hurting the last 50. I mean, he was the slowest by far, the 450. So that's the key is maybe relax a little bit more going out, and he's doing just that. So we'll be watching those split times to see if there's a little bit of a lesson learned from the prelim in the semifinal. Yeah, I think, you know, it, the, the, the pressure of the final brings the times down because everything is about race. I should say, instead of coming down, they go up because the, the, the pressure of the race itself is so important. You'll see, for example, Zach Hardy, very relaxed veteran right there. There, he'll, he'll definitely come off the pace. He will have the best last 100. Has he dug himself too big of a hole? I don't think so. He was fourth at 55-2 there. Trenton Julian, 54-4 going out. He was 53-6 this morning. Much more of a strategic race for him. Semis last night, actually, but you can see Luca Orlando. All Rosso right there. Harding starting to make the charge now. You know what? 21 hundredths of a second separated four swimmers after the semifinals. It could be this close again. Well, it was super tight with five across there as we come to the final 30 meters for spot on the Olympic team. Oh, boy. Here they come. Who's going to crash this wall first? Who's going to punch their ticket? Look at Harding go now. Harding's looking good. It's Harding in four. Albiero in two with a push. Same with Orlando in five and Vince in six, but it's not enough as Harding wins 155.06. A hundredth of a second off his best ever time in the event, and Zach Harding punches his ticket to the U.S. Olympic team.